All right, so let's do um, notes on 6.4, the first part of it. Um, so this section is going to be on factoring polynomials. So before when we were factoring, we were just doing quadratics. Um, so now we're going to be doing polynomials. So there are a few different ways to do that. Um, the first is a special type, um, very specific. It's just sum and difference of two cubes. Um, and then the next part um, of this set of notes is factoring by grouping. So um, sum and difference of cubes. So this is in very specific cases. First is when you have a sum of two cubes. So in this case, x cubed is definitely a cube. And a cubed is a cube because 2 cubed is 8. Um, so first thing you need to do here is identify what a is and identify what b is. Um, and then this is the factored form. So this is something that it's like a formula. You just need to know it. So for this one, like I said, a is um, you need to find the cube root of this first. One. So the cube root of x is um, just x. And then for b, the cube root of 8 is just 2. Um, for the second one here, x cubed minus 27. So this is going to be the difference of cubes. So it's a really similar formula here. The only difference is that this first part, this is minus instead of plus, and these are both plus, whereas this one was minus and then plus. So a for this one is going to be x again. The cube root of 27 is 3. So that's the first thing you need to do. So now let's go back to this one. So we found a and b. So let's write it in its factored form. So since it's a sum of cubes, you have to do a plus b, so x plus 2, and then a squared, which is x squared, minus a times b, so 2x plus b squared, um, and b is 2, so b squared is 4. Um, this one down here, this is a difference, so you do a minus b, so x minus 3, and then x squared plus a times b, so 3x plus b squared, and b is 3 in this case, so plus 3 squared is 9. All right, so let's look at some examples. So for these, um, same thing we just did. So we need to state what a and b are and then factor it. So for this first one, we have y cubed minus 1. So a is, is the cube root of y cubed, which is just y. And then b is the cube root of 1. So the cube root of 1 is just 1 because 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. So now we can factor it. So we do a minus b, so y minus 1, and then a squared, so y squared, plus a times b, so 1 times y is just y, plus b squared, which is just 1, because 1 squared is 1. And that's it. So for this second one, um, we need to find the cube root of 8x cubed. So the cubed root of 8x cubed. So like we said on the other page, the cube root of x is 2 because 2 cubed is 8. Um, so this is going to be 2x. And then the cube root of 27y cubed. So 27y cubed. So the cube root of 27, like we said, is 3 because 3 cubed equals 27. So this is going to be 3y. So then we just use our a and b and plug it into that formula on the first page. So a minus b is 2x minus 3y times 2x squared. And I'm putting it in parentheses for a reason. So 2x squared plus a times b plus b squared. So um, this first set of parentheses can't do anything with that. Just leave it as is. Now we want to simplify some stuff here. So this stuff in parentheses, we have 2x squared. 
So the squared, you need to um, distribute it to the 2 and the x. So 2 squared is 4, x squared, plus, so 2 times x times 3 times y. Um, 2 times 3 is 6, xy, plus, Again, we have parentheses here, so we want to distribute this squared. So 3 squared is 9y squared. All right, for this next one, there are two ways we can do this. Um, why don't we factor out a GCF? So we'll factor out a GCF first. So I notice that 8. Um, is in both of those, so I can factor out an 8. So 8 u cubed plus 1. So we factored an 8 out of both of these terms. Um, and now this thing in parentheses, that's our sum of two cubes. So this is actually now, what's in parentheses here is really similar to what we have in A. It's just a plus. So u cubed um, would mean A is u. And if we have u cubed plus 1, then b is 1, because 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. So now we just, we leave that 8 on the outside because it's still part of it. But now we do the um, sum of two cubes factoring formula. So uh, it's u plus 1, so a plus b, times u squared, a squared, minus a times b, so 1 times u is just u, plus b squared, so 1 squared, which is just 1. So this whole thing, don't forget about the 8, it's still out there on the outside. This is that completely factored. All right, so now for this last one, I don't really have a lot of room, so I think I'm going to erase some stuff. So I'm going to erase this, just because I don't have a lot of room. My face is in the corner, so, all right. So A in this case, actually let's think about this for a second. So I'm looking at this and these actually aren't both cubes. Um, so let's see if we can do anything with this. Obviously it's in the sum and difference of cubes, so it's gonna turn into one of these problems, but let's factor out a GCF. So we have a 24 and a three, so I can factor a three out of both of these. And then we have an A to the fourth, in an a to the first, um, which means I can factor out an a to the first. Okay, so when we factor a three out of 24, we're left with eight, which is good news because we know that eight is a cube, so that could work out. And then we factored out an a out of this a to the fourth, which means we're left with a cubed. Okay, and then we factored a 3a out of a 3a, which means we're left with 1. Because if you think about it, um, distributing the other way, 1 times 3a is 3a. So we're just left with 1 here. So this is actually good news because now this stuff in parentheses here, this is a sum of two cubes. So a, we want to take the cube root of 8a cubed. And like we said already, the cube root of 8 is 2 because 2 cubed is 8. So a is 2a, and that's a little confusing because I used a for both of those. Sorry about that. And then um, b is just 1 because, again, 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. Maybe you want to write that down just in case you forget. So 1 cubed is 1, which means a cube root of 1 is also 1. Um, all right, so now we just need to write down the whole factored form. So we have 3a, and then a plus b, so 2a plus 1, and then a squared, so 2a squared minus a times b, so 2a times 1, I'll write the times 1, and then plus um, b squared, which is 1. All right, so now we have 3a, 2a plus 1, and I want to distribute this squared into this set of parentheses here. So 4a squared minus 2a plus 1. And that is it. 
Okay, so now we're going to move on to um, factoring by grouping. So in some cases, there's not a GCF for all terms in a polynomial. Um, if you have four terms, so that is important, if you have four terms with no GCF, then try factoring by grouping. So step one, so we're talking about something that has four terms. So step one, group the first two terms and the last term. So what's going to happen? You're going to have something like this with two terms here. So one, two, two, two terms, two terms. So you're, you're just grouping them. Um, and then you want to factor out a GCF from each group, meaning each set of parentheses, factor out a GCF. Then, if this is going to work, you should have a common factor from both groups. So either the GCF itself, that actually probably won't happen, but what's in parentheses should be the same. So then you can factor out that common factor. So that sounds a little confusing, but let's look at, um, let's look at this first example here following the step. So factor by grouping, step one. Group the first two terms together and then the last two terms. All right, so literally all you do is you take the first two terms, put them in parentheses, and then take the second two terms, put them in parentheses. Okay, all right, so then we factor out a GCF from each group. So let's look at this first group. So the coefficients, there's no GCF because we have a one and a seven, so all you can factor out is a one, which doesn't change anything. So no coefficient GCF, but we have an X cubed and an X squared, which means we can take out an X squared. And if we do that, then we're left with just X in this first term and then just seven. So just seven in this second term. Now we factor out a GCF of this second set of parentheses. So um, the coefficients, we've got 2 and 14, which means we can take out a 2. If we do that, we're just left with x, and then 14 divided by 2 is 7. So you might notice something really, really neat here. So we have x plus 7, we have x plus 7. And that's good because that's exactly what we want to happen in order to use um, factoring by grouping. So now we factor out the common factor, which we just underlined in red. So we factor out, it's almost like you're thinking about these like their own, I'm pointing to them, but you can't see me doing that. You're thinking about these like they're their own like variable. So we factor out X plus seven. So we factor out this red piece, so X plus seven. And then what you're left with is X squared plus two. So you factor out the x plus 7, and what you're left with is the two GCFs that you pulled out, essentially. So x plus 7 comes out in front, and then you're just left with this and this as your second term. And that's it. And if you were to FOIL that, um, FOIL this out, you would end up with this thing at the top. So it, it does work.